Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and today's happy. The first two pickings we're going to do is something for Father's Day, which is actually this coming Sunday. So we thought we'd start introducing some different designs that might pertain to something that something a little bit more masculine. But we're going to end up with one, of course, that's going to be fluffy and pretty like you all like. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start out with this really cool container. And I think this came from Diamond Star. And we're going to put a block of foam in here. I could actually have done this without the foam, but why make my world crazy right now? Crazier than it already is. So I'm going to cut it here, I believe. Yup. Oops. I actually cut that too short. So what I'm going to do is take this piece. I'm going to build it from the bottom so I don't waste anything. And I'm going to insert this piece right like that. So this leaves us a space to water with right here and right here. So then we'll go back and cut the edges off. So how was everybody's weekend? Everyone's good. Miss Cecilia from Cypress, Texas is on. Miss Jana from Nebraska. Miss Lori from Nebraska City. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this and then I'm going to tell you how my weekend went. So anyway, we're going to do two pink mink protea, super cool, and then some safari sunset, some kangaroo paw, those are super pretty and super big, a couple of orange carnations, and then some variety of espedistria, I believe is what that is, like a tea leaf. So. Christina, I haven't told you the story yet, so I thought I'd wait to share it all at once. Oh, good. <clears throat> so yesterday morning, I always get up, I always get up in the morning time and fix my wife and I. I make coffee for me and I make cocoa for her every morning. So I was in the kitchen getting ready, making coffee, and all of a sudden I started hearing this screaming coming out of the bedroom, which there's a love-hate relationship between my dog, who's a Bichon, and my wife, because my wife says she always gets on her pillow and she doesn't understand why she stays on my pillow and not, stays on her pillow and not my pillow, because she says the dog likes me better. Anyway, so I go in there, I, about the first two screams, I think, you know, this typical good morning sunshine kind of deal. So then I go in there, my wife is against the wall screaming, there's <laughs> something on the bed. There's a dead bunny in the middle of our bed. <laughs> in the middle of our bed. So our Bashad, she's a Bashad, had killed, I don't think she killed the buddy, I just think she brought us the buddy as a gift, and so there's a dead baby bunny in the middle of, between oh, our pillows. Oh uh -huh. my gosh. Yeah, that's how my day started. Yeah, so. I cannot believe I did not know about this Well, already. I wanted to wait and tell you all at once because I wanted to hear your reaction. <laughs> I'm just only picturing Miss Renee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord. It was pretty wild. Yeah. Mm. And so the rest of the day, she kept I just can't believe she did that. I, can't, I said, we always tell her she's worthless and doesn't provide, do anything. I said, you know, Bashans actually were hunting dogs for, for rabbits. That's what they were bred for. But... Oh, Lord. My dog doesn't do much of nothing, but apparently she made up for it the other day. So let me spin that around and show you where we are right now. So on this technique is actually something I do quite often. It's called framing, meaning I'm actually taking these branchy things and spreading them out and making like a, um, I'm using void space here in the middle. So framing means to go from point to point, 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 visual point over here. And so you're, you're, using all the void space in the middle, basically. So your eye thinks it's a lot bigger than it actually is. So you have lots of people going, ooh, oh no, dog <laughs> present, oh my goodness. Well, I thought everyone would like to know what how my day went, so mm -hmm. anyway, so. There you go. It was nothing but up from there, so anyway, but. Anyway, <laughs> so, I can't wait to call Miss Renee. Uh, oh yeah. Lord. Oh uh, yeah. It was a good one. So yeah, we have people was, from yeah. all over. I can't even go back and read them all. We have the UK, oh, North my Carolina, Georgia. Well, thank y'all for joining South us Carolina, today. South Carolina, Alabama, Wyoming, Florida. Oh, fun. All over the place. Oklahoma, Hot Springs. So what I'm doing on this, just to cover to make a loop, you actually can use glue dots if you wanted to, where you just take, it's like, you know the stuff that comes on like your credit card? You know, the stick to when you get your new credit card, it has that sticky part on the back. That's kind of like what a glue dot would be, and that comes from Smithers Oasis as well, but I did, forgot to bring you down, and I'm kind of old school anyway. So I just like to use the leaf 
Jean said that they have been gifted. We have been presented a few dead bunnies. Dead bunnies, mm -hmm. uh, exactly. Dead Yorkers. Uh -huh. Well, they think they're real proud and that they did something really good, didn't they? So anyway. So. Audrey said, your poor wife. <laughs> <laughs> My poor dog. She, she, you know, she, got, she got an earful, let me tell you. So anyway, so then we had to, of course, strip all the sheets and da 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 and i had to pick up i had to go get to get rid of the bunny for sure so because mama knows lord knows mama's not going to do it so someone just asked what did you do with the thing in the bed uh well i got on some gloves and put it in a plastic bag and now it's waiting to be picked up tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> i thought you'd like that one uh, somebody said her shit zoo used to bring dead mice i used to have a shit zoo thank goodness that she never did that um, someone asked, what is the name of the leaf that you are using? I think this is an espidistria leaf. It's in the same as a tea leaf, basically, but it has a longer stem on the bottom of it. But flower people out there, if I'm wrong, let us know because I kind of go with the flow real quick. So that's something simple and easy, just using a framing technique by using the kangaroo paw out from the edge instead of going to dead in the middle. Here, let's give this a little bit of bend. Hang on. There we go. I'm not so much about everything being straight up and down. Okay. Oh, Someone yeah. asked, are you pulling the heads off of the small flowers? Heads off the small flowers. Maybe when you were cutting the oh, carnations. Oh, the carnations, yeah. I was popping the carnation. We use a lot of carnations. Uh, I love carnations. A lot of people don't because it reminds them of sympathy work. But I actually love to use them because they're a good consolidated, I mean, a good... Um, focal point down low for color. It's a good saturation inexpensively. Miss Lori said it's variegated espidistria. Espidistria, yeah, okay, that word. awesome. Mm -hmm. So there's one thing for dad. So let's do something really quick and simple again. This is a fun container we have up front. And I just picked this up going down there. So I thought, well, why don't we take this? This already, already has just a fleck of gold in it, basically. And this comes from, I believe, import collection. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. So we have lots of people saying that they appreciate and they um, enjoy when you like explain your techniques and what you're thinking as you go. They appreciate you for that. Oh, good. Well, someone did say it's hard to go down from a bunny in bed. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm telling you so much, but happy to share what little bit I know. Oh, Miss Alice said that her patriotic wreath arrived on Saturday and it's been hanging on the front porch. Oh, Thank you so awesome. much. Good. I hope she enjoys it. I think my mom hinted to me yesterday. She was like, um, I think I maybe need a 4th of July bow for the front door. Oh, my so, God. We have greetings from Baton Rouge. Fun. Baton Rouge. Got some great friends that live down there. Um, we're all friends with all the Harrimans. And Lord knows there's a whole parcel of them down there from... David, to Billy, to Ricky, da 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 da, da. but we, we've known the Harrimans down there for a long time. So someone asked what you're doing with that. They're loving the vase, but what are you doing with the gold is their question. Out of that. There you go. I'm just giving it more texture. Maybe it's too much. Don't know. I just thought I had a little bit of glitter to it so it doesn't look quite so stagnant, but I thought, oh, we'll just play with some wire today. As you can tell. I really have no rhyme or reason or any of this. So yep. this is called... <laughs> I was gonna say, right before he went on, he was like, what do you think about putting this on here? Yeah, so okay. this is called uh, iron grass, I believe, or steel grass, it's steel grass. I knew it was some kind of metal. Then we have four in red anthurium. We have two, so a little bunch of monsteria leaves, the miniature monsteria leaves, and a little bit of lily grass, which I don't know if we're gonna need that or not. But this is going to be so easy. Miss Carolyn asked if you knew what, where you were going with the wire, or did it just flow? It just flowed. <laughs> Don't know if it flowed right or not, but it, flow, it flowed. I never really have a set. Probably should. Probably if I, probably if I had a real, if I was really going to do it, I would probably. You know, a lot of times when I think that I'm going to do something like that, that's when it is an epic fail. When I think I'm going to force or have a preconceived notion of doing something, that's when it doesn't go quite so well. Someone asked, are you doing the AIFD design circuit? Um, 
<laughs> Actually, I am the past president of AIFD in 2006. No, 19. No, it's been a long time. It's been over 12 years. Oh my gosh. I was 06 to 07, I think. If anybody's out there that knows me, I think that's right. I can't remember. Hey, I'm a has been, washed up has been, but, um, but yes, I've been involved with AFD. I was also the CEO and chairman of the foundation after Alan Beck, which was after Ralph Knoll. And then I'm still on the foundation uh, as a trustee until they kick me off. And then, and then uh, what else am I involved in? A little well, this, a little that. Yeah, you were just past president of the Arkansas Florist Association. Oh, that's right, Arkansas Florist Association. That was last year. That was so last year. <laughs> so last year. <laughs> Miss Ann said Kentucky is obsessed with your talent. Oh, you're so sweet. So let's take this iron grass and try to mimic Norma well, asks, do fathers, do guys like flowers for Father's Day? Um, it's not one of our bigger moments. I mean, our bigger sell through times. But with that being said, you'd be surprised how many you'd be surprised. But, but we also have a ton of other gift giving things like cheese trays and charcuterie boards and chocolate baskets and wonderful plant material, which we'll probably visit that sometime this week. Oh, Mr. Jeffrey said he does, so there okay, you go. There you go. We have it confirmed by a guy. There we go. We have friends from Atlanta, Ireland, Hawaii. Oh, cool. Well, this may be a bit much. That container is just so, so cool. Fun. It's so easy to just, I'll just stick the flowers in there. That would be my kind of designing. Just hey, cut a flower, slow, put it in there. Easy peasy, right? So let's spin this around and see what everybody thinks. Miss Nancy this. from Branson said hi, Chris and Christina. Well, Catherine from Spain is on. Kathleen from Spain. Sorry. Oh, let me spin that around to here. A lot of spinning going on. Hello from Kansas. So anyway, that might be something. Tell you what, let's add one more leaf back here to add more depth. Miss Kathy said that she is lives in Tulsa, but she's coming to Little Rock this weekend. She will definitely be stopping by. Oh, good. So there's something fun you can do for dad or just a contemporary design. Simple, easy, four flowers. It's just a really fun container. So there's that one. Miss Norma asked yay if or we nay. could... Yay, people yay. say yay. Yay, okay. So, Last but not least, let's just go back and do pretty. So on this one, I'm gonna set that right over there, okay? So on this one, we're gonna use some Gerber daisies or Gerbera daisies or Gerber daisies or- I like that color. It's kind of hot and bright. We found that our people love color. So then we got some grasses. So we'll ask millet. what your last name is. Norwood. So there's kale. We're gonna use a couple of these really fun coral charm peonies. Still got peonies. Then we're gonna use these hot pink, oops, spray roses. Some Veronica, except not for that one. And then this mint, oh my gosh. Mm. We need smell of it. It is so strong today. And then more millet. And then this really fun, 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 fresh blackberries. Ooh, cool. And a little bit of Queen Anne's lace. Ooh, you got right up in the camera on that one. Oh, sorry. No, and then foxglove. This is still Arkansas grown foxglove. So first off, let's go ahead and put our kale in place and that'll help give us a little bit of filler. This container actually comes from United Containers, UCI. Miss Linda said, second masterpiece took six minutes. Oh. She likes to count how long it takes you. Oh she my said, gosh. it takes you no time. I'm a, I'm, and I'm talking too. Lots of people slow. say they love the kale. Oh, cool. So we're going to actually insert these in first because we want these to hang out. 
Another technical term. I love these. I think they're so fun. They have such good texture. So let's take this one out to here. Don't really want to cut much off if I can keep from it. Miss Amanda said, any chance you can tell us what it would cost for each of these? Um, we probably have to go back and add. Uh, um, let me add it and then we'll yeah. post it. And then we'll post it in the comments how much e each of them are. Yeah. We had a couple questions last Saturday about the centerpiece that we made out of the leftovers. And literally, we literally made that arrangement and ran out the door. We did. <laughs> because it was our day off. It was our supposed one day off. So anyway, we didn't, so, st we didn't stick around. Sorry. Oh, also, I meant to tell everybody, if I didn't comment to you on Saturday, like I try to do with everybody, it's because I had a freeze put on my Facebook. Did I not tell you that? I didn't no, tell you, that either. you didn't tell me. I didn't tell you that. Um, they put something about if you post too much or comment too much, they think you're a robot. So I've done like a thousand comments because I try to respond to everybody that posts something on the thing, and so it caught. So it said that they were going to put a, they put a freeze on the thing on my on my face on my personal Facebook to make sure I wasn't a robot. Wow. Yeah. Mercy. So Miss Sharon asked if you would say hello to her husband, Cyril McGinnis. Hey, Cyril McGinnis. How you doing? Shout out. <laughs> Shout out. Um, someone said they love the blackberries. They would have never thought to use them. Someone said, do the blackberries not have thorns in them? Yes, they do. <laughs> and then Miss Lisa said, are they edible? I believe they are edible. Um, I don't know how much more they mature once they're cut. I think they do mature but they're not like the typical cut alongside the railroad track blackberry that you see out in the country. Miss Diane said, ha, 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 are you a robot? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not hardly, unfortunately, unfortunately not. Your stepsister said she loves all of your designs. Oh, to make a it. note. Oh, thank you. Dave said uh, that they enjoy watching you create your designs. Miss we'll Belinda said hello from Louisiana. Well, cool. People love this color scheme as well. We have lots of people asking about the container, so I'll definitely at the end post. It's from uh, UCI or United Container International, and that's what we call. I think so. Sandy Shrek, Sandy Schroeder. I always get her last name. I'm sorry, Sandy. You know me. Um, is our rep, and you can contact her. And she will fix you up. Miss Logan said, obviously Facebook doesn't understand Southerners, do they? <laughs> I guess not. I was like, what? Because I was like, responded and all of a sudden it went, it went, you are blocked. Okay. Okay. Miss Bias said the master florist is at work. Oh, you're sweet. These colors are so fun together. Yeah, they are super fun. And I'm going to kind of color block these together instead of spreading the Gerbers out. I'm just going to kind of all keep them together today. I love the spray roses so, on this side. Yeah, I do too. We have Hi from Connecticut, from Kansas. Miss Sue said, Chris is definitely not a robot. <laughs> far from a robot. Yeah, far from far, it. Far, far, far from a robot, exactly. So on these Gerber daisies, I'm not getting too worried about the way the heads are going as far as the way the, fa the, way the flower faces, because that's kind of what you want. You want them to be kind of that all just coming and going everywhere a little bit. Another technical term, coming and going. Coming and going. Coming and go. going. Coming and going. Technical but term of the another day. Another technical term, but I think if we were to force them all to be one way, it would make it look a lot less natural. Miss Patty said that this reminds her of a summer arrangement from her mom's garden. Oh, good. Exactly what we were going for. Miss Janet said that she just found our site. She's from Virginia. Oh, well, good. We're so glad you joined us. We had a ton of people again Saturday. We did. There. So there. many new people There's on so Saturday. So many new people. We're so excited to have everybody new. Miss Kendra said hi from Gulf Shores, Alabama. People are saying beautiful. Gorgeous. Just simple and easy and just. just we have kind of, hi from Ohio. Miss Linda said she's a new viewer from Rhode Island and oh, she enjoys uh, all of your arrangements. Oh, well, good. So, I think we're getting kind of close here. What do you think? 
I like it. I like the purple of the container and the flowers. It kind of pulls it up, doesn't it? It does. That was definitely a last minute thing there for sure. Let's see what I want to take. Should I take this one down a little bit? Is it too far out? Mm, nah, we I like, like it. it. We like it. So, I'll tell you what, let's add one more piece. <laughs> Miss Sandy said that we would all buy a Chris robot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, you probably, you better, you keep, you better keep the warranty on it because you're <laughs> probably going to want to return it afterwards. So. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, that's probably too tall. Hang we on. have lots of people saying this is their favorite. This is the most beautiful wine. It's stunning. Very garden-esque. Hello from California. Just gorgeous. Well, a lot of these flowers, I know the Gerber daisies came from Canada, but all the raspberries and the kale and the Queen Anne's lace and the Veronica, the millet, um, all come from California. The pennies come from, I believe those pennies are actually from Holland. But of course, we've had other varieties of pennies that came from um, Oregon. And then, of course, the Fox Love is Arkansas grown, which we're super proud of or happy to promote. And then our mint comes from California. We really try to, and I'm a big believer in buying what's locally grown by local farmers and also believe in buying American products. So we buy, we try to find as much product made or grown in the United States as we can. So I'm a big believer in taking care of the farmers and the people that grow flowers. So there we go. So that is our simple cutesy pie country garden little drop in simple and easy so i hope y'all had a great day and had a little bit of fun with us had a little bit of happy hope you have a blessed night and hopefully we will see you tomorrow we're still going to continue to every day to do one arrangement a little bit more masculine a little bit more for dad i know it's not for everybody and then we'll always try to do something what i call just plain old pretty so anyway thanks for joining us and we will see you tomorrow and thanks for joining our happy bye